talking about talking about talking about talking about, talking about, talking about, talking about, talking about all things considering the la comedy scene so as you guys are familiar i think most of you probably should have known by now but the rumors are true joe rogan and co are leaving la and they're moving to texas so as most of you will probably be aware if you're a Joe Rogan podcast fan and you're a fan of the Fire and the Kid and the Joey Diaz and that whole extended group, you'd have known that, you know, some of those guys have been insufferable during COVID, right? Um, they've been denying the severity of the issue. They've been bemoaning their local governors and mayors of their, because of their approach and what they've done in reacting to it. The fact that the comedy store is closed, the fact that they can't tour, they've just been whining and complaining, right? These multimillionaires who, from the looks of it, are living an easy life, have find, have kind of um, reminded us that they're just human like you or I, and they also need uh, the ability to feed their families, right? Regardless if they get paid a million per gig, you still need to work in order to kind of make sure you keep paying your light bill and make sure the bailiffs don't take away your home or take away your kids, right? So it's completely it makes sense. But then it, there was a bit of hope at the end of the tunnel because when LA was closing and things weren't looking bright um, on the West Coast, it did seem like places in the South or in the Sun Belt, places in Texas, places like Texas and the like were opening up and kind of going back to normal. But then um, just as they were kind of speaking about uh, moving away, the numbers in Texas have sort of spiked over the last few weeks it feels like LA is kind of locked down again for a second time due to an outbreak so this dream of going to Texas just to perform comedy is sort of taking a back seat and now you're hearing a lot of them say especially Joe said the other day he's mainly going for Texas because I think they pay quite a lot of taxes in, the, in LA or California um, mostly I think it's like 30 percent or something crazy like that over a certain amount so even if you're earning 100 million on a Spotify deal like Joe is the last thing you want to be doing is giving away more than 30 percent of that to the tax man if you can avoid it especially ahead of the deal being signed and the money being transferred to his account it probably makes sense why he's moving so quickly um but it's a little clip from joe diaz kind of explaining the situation and what's going on and just maybe as a a bit of an indicator a bit of a caution not caution to tell maybe a bit of a heads up for just us regular folk in terms of maybe not just looking at the situation just kind of existing through it and just sort of sitting on our hands but looking at what's happening with covid around the world and wherever you are that's affecting you know how you are how it's which affected your plans right the fact you might have graduated or you have or the fact that you're going to start an internship or you were going to start a business or you're going to go on a holiday things you everyone's plans have been kind of you know thrown in their head so this might be a prime opportunity to actually assess reassess what you actually want to do and make some changes regardless because you know they're not going to all move there for comedy now because there's no comedy for a while maybe there's no stand-up at all there's no live entertainment in its conventional sense probably until the end of the year right so um they're just having to move anyway because they're seeing you know for the most part the residual or the after effects of this co of covid especially in a place like la or especially anywhere really for the after effects are going to be felt for a long time after the fact anyway so this is probably the best opportunity for you if you wanted to actually make some sort of radical life change to really think about it and you know and come to a decision quickly as possible because you don't want to waste this opportunity just kind of sit on your hands but this this is the video from joey diaz explaining why he's decided to or kind of announcing that he's basically leaving let it load let it load let it load Come if on. someone told me Hey, it's time to leave. Yeah, I like that. But if I, if it's something that I have to make it my decision, I go back and forth. I'm not I'm listen between awful. you and I and the fourth wall. I knew it was time to leave in May. I knew it was time to leave. I had a funny feeling. I did not know about that they were going to reclose. I didn't know anything about that, but I thought it was time to leave in May. Oh, you mean LA? Yeah. In May, I was already telling people. I talked Rick Ramos into it. He got the fuck out of here. I talked my other friend to it. He got the fuck out of here. They, it made sense. They called me, and I told them, you got to go. I understand your pain. I understand what you're going through, and I wouldn't be here. Can you imagine how many people would have left if they knew it was going to last this long? Like, if, if in March, you knew. when it came to that he was really it's not working where was i why they're showing you on again 
don't know. What's happening there? Can you still hear me? No, no. What's happening? What is it saying? Like, yeah, oh, it's still on. I don't know why it sort of popped up again there. But, um, sorry, Joe Diaz was on it. He was really, really on it. He knew exactly what he was talking about. He was kind of warning his fans, our listeners, such as myself, to kind of get, you know, to pull our heads out of our asses and really look at what's happening and make some changes. And it's hard, isn't it? Even Lee mentioned previously at the beginning there, he said, you know, he's he'd... Most people are probably like that, right? You're only going to make a move when somebody, when there's no other option, when you're kind of backed into a corner. But sometimes in life, it doesn't, you don't get messages or you don't get signs of what to do clearly like that. Sometimes they're coded or you have to kind of, you know, read between the lines or assess what's going on, right? I think he's, Joey mentioned a few times, you know, he's walks around his area and he counts the amount of moving vans he sees and that's a sort of indicator of whether or not he should leave, right? There's things that are happening around you that should give you an indication. And I think a lot of the people that I've known, especially people in my age group who have kind of gone away, moved back home, they've definitely reassessed that, especially the ones that are kind of high flying here in London because if you're able to kind of move back home and work from your laptop in your mom's room, it doesn't matter, right? The fact that you can go back and have a, a roof uh, to stay under and you've got some Wi-Fi to use and home to work, that's definitely going to change the way that you um, approach where you live and where you work, especially if you think that most companies will maintain some level of remote working for uh, you know a prolonged period of time, even once the vaccine is sorted, because the last thing they want is to have a complete outbreak in their office, have people off sick and, you know, all that kind of drama and negative press. So a lot of those people who are staunchly, oh, I'm going to stay in London, I'm going to stay in Manchester, I'm going to stay in Liverpool, all these big cities, they're probably looking at it thinking, you know what, if I could get away with working a few less hours in a week, but then having to spend less money on rent and then having to spend less money on travel. So it all kind of offsets and balances itself off. And you've had a whole six month plus of living a quiet life where there's no clubs, there's no glitzy holidays. You've kind of come accustomed to, you know, um, living within your means. It's not really that much of a stretch, right? To then decide, you know what, actually, I'm not, once everything goes back to normal, I'm not going to re-enter, re-enter the rat race. I'm just going to find something that you know, give, bring me some level of fulfillment and then explore my hobbies on the side or explore my, my interests outside of work. I think a lot of people are thinking that, but this is the time to take that, um, that hint. This is a time to take that, um, to make that leap. You can't really wait for a sign to come along because if you're waiting for that, you're going to be waiting a hell of a long time. And by the time you do make a move, it's too late. <clears throat> it was going to last all year. I bet 20, uh, 20% more people will leave. When I got the call from Rogan last week that he's leaving next month, that really just equated for me that that's it. It's time to look around and say, wow, I pay 13.8% in tax. Okay, the police is getting defunded. The prisoners are getting out and crime is on the rise. And I have a daughter in my house. And there's people walking around looking for a problem. Have you ever taken a ride at night lately? No. Take a ride at 11 o'clock at night. Go to Lancashire and make a left and go up towards Victory. Wait till you get to Victory. Wait till you see up there. Oh, and by Gold's Gym, it's... And he's got a point there, and I think that's really accurate in terms of... It's less of a decision to go to Texas to go and do stand-up because, you know, even though I'm sure most of it there is part of them that's sort of hoping once Texas gets under control, they'll be probably more likely to reopen again, right? Their mayor and their governors seem to be a little bit more gung ho than the sort of cautious um, side of things in LA. So you'd assume once things do get under control there, they'll be quick. They'll probably reopen before LA does anyway or close about. So there's a benefit there. But just in terms of what's going on and the temperature that's going to exist in LA once everything settles down, because that's something people don't really understand too, right? All these places that are getting absolutely blitz with protests and clashes with the police and all that sort of stuff when it does settles and people are still without jobs people are still suffering people are still going without what's going to happen then right what's the temperature going to be like in that city or in that town or in that district it's not going to be nice so the best thing you can do if you again if you've got the means to you should be looking to do something moving away from a big city maybe moving into a smaller city if you have been living in the country for a while i don't know this is the opportunity definitely to make some sort of change but i just thought it was interesting to see just in terms of the la comedy scene because we associate those guys so 
you know, closely with LA, right? They are essentially, you know, um, mainstays in the comedy store. I'm sure most of them will probably be, you know, flying in and out from Texas to LA. Um, someone like a Joe could probably charter his own bloody private jet to go there. That'd be funny, you know, if they kind of had their own little uh, uh, comedian private jet that they use. Imagine how there's already a divide, right? There's already a split between the New York comics, and the East Side, East Coast comics, and the West Side comics. West Coast comics. Imagine if they finally charter a private jet in the shape of a drake airlines and use that to sort of ferry them across back and forth from la to texas that would really cause a rift in the scene and it would be fucking insane but again i don't blame them man even myself i'm considering making the movie you know like especially with covid happening like you just need to reassess everything you're doing it's such a again it's a terrible thing to happen to most people i think you know unless you're a multi-millionaire and you have the means or you've got a massive nest egg it's going to impact you it's going to hurt your pocket sooner rather than later whether it's from reduced hours being let go or whatever it may be it's going to affect you sooner rather than later so the best thing you can do especially if you have a, a young family especially if you're thinking of starting a family especially if you're at that age where you've you know deciding whether or not to what to do in your career long term this is a great opportunity to actually reassess and think hmm do I want to do X, Y, and Z? Is it the right time to do this thing? Is it the right time to go into this place? Is it the right time to even switch careers in the first place? Or should I be doubling down and, you know, trying everything and pouring into my dreams? Whatever it may be, this is the time to really ask yourself that question. And unlike other times where you kind of, you know, you sort of procrastinate, this isn't the time. Once you make a decision, you just got to act on it. This is what, again, these guys are probably a bad example because they've all got money and they've all got means to do so. But I think the fact that they're all leaving so quickly within the space of a month of each other, right? I've heard Brendan Schaub and Brian Keller mentioned they want to leave. A few other people have said it. Like some people are moving to New York as well. Guys that were in LA are moving back to New York because New York obviously has um, got the virus under somewhat control. There's a few clubs opening here and there with social distancing being enforced that they have a, a process of doing of kind of restarting their careers plus you could always come to europe um it's gonna be interesting to see what happens going forward in general what what, what the kind of landscape is in the in a, in a few months because if anybody thinks live shows are coming back they're not coming back for a while there's not gonna be any live shows for ages so live shows probably you know put down a back burner but if you are you know in the arts in the entertainment industry you definitely need to reassess things and try and make a some sort of adjustments whether that's working a crappy job just for the time being to keep the lights on or whether that's kind of moving somewhere else so you can get a crappy job wherever it may be try and do it as soon as possible do not waste any more of your precious time